a lot of you guys will probably be very familiar with the fact that you can change the hot colors in Elite by altering the graphic XML file. However, doing so will often make part of the UI completely unreadable and make character portraits look, well, like garbage. But what if I told you that there is a much better way to do it? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Without Twitter Astronomy. Today I'm going to show you the proper way, the right way, to alter your hot graphics in Elite Dangerous so you can control the different elements of the hot, different colors and intensities separately and not just change a single color matrix to skew all your images. This will unfortunately only work on PC. I'm sorry, I don't know of any way for console players to change your hot colors. So if you're playing on console, unfortunately, you won't be able to do this. First, there's a few settings we need to make sure are in place. Go into your graphic options here in Elite and look for Disable GUI Effects and make sure this is set to Off. This is the default, so it most likely already is unless you changed it, but just go in and double check it before we start. Next up, you can go ahead and you can close down the game. You need to navigate to your Elite Dangerous 64 folder. For me, I installed it through Steam and I believe this is the default location. It's your Program Files, um, x86, Steams, Steam Apps, Common, Elite Space Dangerous, Products, and then Elite dash dangerous dash 64. Once you located this folder, you should have your graphic configuration XML. Open this up in your favorite editor and look for this color matrix here that it might be used to if you've been changing your hot colors in the past. Make sure this is set to the default like so, so that we have ones here on the diagonal going down from the top left hand corner to the lower right hand corner and the rest are zero. This is the default setup and this is where you should have it for this to work. Next, we're going to be needing a mod created by Commander George Costantia as well as Commander XBR 2K4. So you're going to need two files. You're going to need the Elite Dangerous Hot mod. This is a text file essentially just highlighting all the install instructions. And I'll be also referencing this during, uh, during the installation here. Do have that. Read it because this tells you everything you need to know. Also, you need a, a zip file that the, it's currently it's hosted on a, in a Google Drive. I'll put a link for both of these files, of course, in the description. But we're going to take this zip file and we're going to drag that into, uh, into our Elite Dangerous 64 folder. And then we're going to extract all the files in the current location. So we're going to go extract here using 7-zip, but you can extract this anywhere. Just make sure that as you extract, you should see a number of new DDL files pop up as well as some new um, indie files. You also notice three new folders. There is a replacement texture, a shader fix, and a shader repair. Once you've done that, the modification is now installed. We can go ahead and we can launch the game. Back in the game, you will notice that your hot colors has already changed. That means the mod is active and working. Now, you can disable the mod by simply pressing F1. You can use that to toggle the hot colored modifications on or off. Notice here that if we just quickly open up the, um, the system map here, notice the, the pictures here. As I turn on the modifications here, it only affects certain elements and not the actual profile pictures. But of course, you may not like the default settings that this is set to, so you can also change this. If, for instance, you use the F2 key, I can sit and I can change the color of my shields to various presets. So, for instance, maybe I like green shields, maybe I like to have like a red inner circle so I can see my, uh, my, my shields get more and more red as I begin to lose shields. Maybe I like to change the color of my ship, I, I like the green one, let's go with the green one here. And maybe I like to change the color of my pips, maybe this is pretty cool so I can see colors again dependent on how much energy I have in my pips. That's pretty cool too. But you can do more than that, for instance, you can take and um, you can use a 5 here to dim, uh, to control how bright your UI is. This can also be controlled um, other places, but again, I like it nice and bright, so let's keep it there. Also, the ambient lighting, uh, we're here in a Crate Phantom. Look at the two lights here on the small supports for the main uh, windscreen here. As I can dim this, I can control how much ambient light I have from the UI around me in the cockpit as well. I can turn it off completely if I don't want it. And here I can change through just my lighting. Look, my UI is not changing, it's just the cabin lighting. So if maybe I want a, I don't know, something that will fit the channel, probably like a greenish color. Maybe something like that is okay. If I want that, right? you can change that exactly as you like. 
Now, once you find your favorite combination, we need to head back into the Elite Dangerous 64 folder and we're going to take the ini file, the d3dx.ini file. I'm going to open that up. This is a file that controls the defaults because all these changes we made is going to be reset every time you start the game unless you change the defaults in here. So, for instance, the hot dimmer, that is the, um, the brightness of your heart. You can set this here. I want this to be, um, to be a 5. The light dimmer, again, you can set this to, to how bright your lights are. Um, the ambient cabin lighting, I think I like the green one. Let's say maybe I want the apple green, so I'm going to change this one to a 5. Now, while I think it is extremely cool that we can change some UI elements while keeping other statics and have that level of control over our UI, there is still some changes I would like to see. For instance, being able to customize these different presets um, yourself would be really nice. I haven't dived too much into the, to the script itself yet, or to the modifications itself, so I don't know if you can, but it seems at least it's not an intended use just yet. I hope that's something that you can, that maybe every cycle also has a, a custom one you can set yourself. That would be really nice. Um, also, the actual hot, um, as you can see right now, my radar has like a like a grayish color. While all the UI elements, all the different ships on the hot itself, is the same as it were before. Um, so that doesn't change. You can see here I have like a blue accent now on some of my and and as far as I can see, this is not changeable. This is still just a static thing, and I hope this is something that I would be able to get a control over later, and maybe even if I want to change some of these other um, UI elements, if I want to get rid of that orange hue altogether, having that level of control would definitely be um, a very, very nice addition. But as it is stated here in the included text file, that this is a beta version, so this is not a finished product yet. And as you can see here, it's been updated very recently. I'm recording this on the 1st of November, so just a couple of days, four days after this uh, version was released. So there will, of course, be changes, and I hope we're going to see more level of control. But thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like, subscribe, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.